Howdy folks, I'm Will Gore. Um, just getting off of work and the plan is to go out and try to catch some triple tail. Uh, let's go ahead and just get straight into it. I'm gonna stop by the bait shop and grab some shrimp. They actually got shrimp this time. So I'm gonna stop by there, grab a few dozen and then get out there. So come along, see you there. usually catch one or two around this pole but it's directly on the channel and when I first came out there were uh, there's several pontoons and jet skis going by so uh, they don't like boat traffic and there wasn't one he if there was one here he wasn't gonna bite so I moved on pretty quick after this So I wanted to get out of the wind a little bit. I went up the creek to see if there was any mangrove snapper in the in the mangroves here or maybe a snook, but I think it's still a little too early for mangroves to be biting good and I didn't get any snook, so uh, yeah, try it though. Damn this wind. There goes something. Gosh, something small. Well, I caught a triple tail. I just didn't get any of it on camera, so uh, none of it. So I didn't flip the phone around and this and that, but I'll show it to you at least. a keeper triple tail it's just probably just 18 inches which would have gotten on camera but just didn't work that way love it <laughs> yeah shrimp got away maybe there's a bigger one here who knows that'd be cool man such an awesome fight man Oh, there's another one. I got another one. I'm definitely recording now. Oh, it's another big one. Big old triple tail right here, man. <laughs> well, at least I'll get one fight on there. He might not be huge, but. Hell yeah. Oh, it's another triple tail. That's awesome. Holy cow. a good spot and come in time it's definitely not as big as that first one but no cool guess i'm getting a fight on here do they oh there's... these things fight so hard i think he might be another keeper no way oh he's so pretty i don't think he's a keeper City.
They're hard fighting fish. Beautiful. Be a keeper too. Gosh. I think it's another keeper, but I don't know. I don't think I'm going to keep them. I've got one. That's all I need. Crazy. Flush the motor out for once. So I've been kind of, honestly, been kind of bad about it. I let it go last time, but it needs to be flushed. Nineteen inches. You want to take your time with this one because this is uh, one of the best eating fish you'll ever have. That's what I'm talking about.
freaking beautiful fillets, man. I'm gonna do the wings too. I already got one side off, so good old wings. All right, folks. Well, I'm gonna put this triple tail away for tomorrow. I might give a flay to my aunt and uncle and uh, try to figure out what I'm gonna do with it. Probably grill it and do something with it, but it's gonna be good stuff. Well, it's the day after fishing and I uh, just got home from work and I was looking at the boat trailer and apparently a little blue jay fell out of the nest. So I'm going to try to try to put it in a, a nest and make a nest for it and put it up in the tree for the mom to take care of it. So, poor thing. What the heck? I got this thing. See if it lets me put it in there. Yeah, birdie, birdie. It's okay, birdie. Don't run away. Don't bite me. You gonna bite me? Oh, I ain't your mama. Oh God, there's the blue jay right there. It's okay, birdie. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, man. They're freaking. They're going to attack me. Maybe I should put a helmet on or something. Freaking. It's okay, Blue Jay. Come on. Well, I put the nest higher, but they keep uh, attacking me, so I'm just gonna leave it where I put it, <laughs> where, where I just put it. So there's like five or six blue jays on me. That helmet helped. <laughs> All right, let's get to cooking that triple tail. So I'm just gonna blacken this triple tail. It's easy, and I'll show you the way I do it. It's uh, I take the fillet, and I'll melt some butter in the pan. And then I'll put the triple tail filet in the butter and let it soak on each side, pull it off the pan, and then put it on the plate <clears throat> and then just cake it with that blackened seasoning. I think it's uh, that magic, magic se seasoning blends. It's this stuff. It, this is the best. <laughs> Can't go wrong with that. And then I'm making some rice, broccoli. Start with onion always. So onion, broccoli, Maybe uh, just some bell pepper. Simple. So that should be a pretty, pretty decent meal. Uh, cook it up and show you how I do it. Does anybody else's dog do this? <laughs> Every time I come to cook, this is this is his spot, right in the way. <laughs> He's crazy. I'm gonna chop up a whole onion.
So I'm just gonna melt some butter. Yeah, do another knob. Need quite a bit of butter. <clears throat> quite a bit of butter to cover up the filet and then um, cook with too. Need to pat dry this old triple tail. Check it over, make sure ain't got no bones. Rip off excess meat. Yeah, that's, that's a nice filet. So, I'm going to take it, put it in this butter real quick. I don't want it to cook, I just want to soak it. Take this. Just take it, take this stuff and cake it on there, and uh, you want this, you want the pan to be pretty dang hot, that's why they call it blackened, like you just, <laughs> basically just, uh, it's almost like crazy, but it's so good. You take it, get it piping hot, stick it on there until like, you know, probably for like two minutes and then flip it, it's gonna be black. It looks black. Actually gonna heat up the oven too. So like, I'll put it in the oven so, because it's thick, I'll put it in the oven and let it cook all the way through. So big. This is how you really blacken fish. Like you melt butter, trench it in butter, like a batter pretty much, and then you just cake it with the blacken. I wish I had a little more, but I ran out. You cake it, cake it with blacken, sear it on both sides real well, put it in the oven, let it cook all the way through, and you're done. All right, I think it's hot enough. Let's see what it does. Always lay away from you. Put in the oven for another, I'm just gonna do it for probably five minutes and it should be completely done. The oven kind of just like cooks it all the way through, so. She fell apart, so you know it's good. Blackened triple tail. Hmm. There you go. That's some good flaky white meat. Mm. Five stars. Hope you enjoyed today's episode and uh, see you on the next one. See ya. Don't die.